Welcome back to the last video of this tutorial. In this fourth script, we will now take the trained model and actually estimate Woody cover. So uh, very similar to the last script, um, we begin with the import of uh, packages in case you have not done that before. We define our home directory and we define our model. Our model is the file that we created during the training script. So we simply import the model that we have um, exported in the third script and this model and this file now contains information that is necessary to predict the woody cover on any uh, area that we desire uh, the only important thing to remember is that we need the same parameters to fit in the model because it was trained with those parameters so um, here you can, for example, um, have a different out here. So you can uh, say you want to save your prediction in a different place, but we don't need that. Um, so this is not mandatory here. So then we set our home directory. We go to that home directory. Uh, we um, select file. So in my case, I have selected um, a different um, or a subset from a different area of the Kruger National Park, which is uh, near to the Letaba rest camp. So uh, you can pick any of the sub sites that we provided on the Zenodo web page, uh, but I will choose this one. And then you will um, use the brick command, which is a raster command that is able to import raster data stacks. Uh, similar to the data sets before, we will um, also clear this one of nans, of non values, of no data values which in this case are defined as minus 99. So this uh, takes, takes a second, but not too long. Okay, and as soon as this is finished, we will uh, transfer the data set again to a data frame so that we can work with this. And uh, this is actually quite an important point here. So if, we, if you say x, y true, then the data set will contain the x and y coordinates. So we again set the names, which are identical to what we've done before. We define the coordinates. So these are all commands that you have seen in the previous tutorials. So this, this should look familiar. And then down here at the end of this uh, script, we have um, the actual prediction. So uh, if we run this command, uh, which is called predict, uh, using our trained model and our um, new data set at the Litaba uh, rest camp, we can now predict the woody cover. And this uh, might take a while, depending on the size of your chosen study site. So now the um, prediction has finished. It did not take too long. And what we now have is something that we can look at in R, for example, but we cannot, for example, plot this because we, we don't have any georeference. And using uh, this set of commands here, we can actually uh, convert the, the raw information basically to a data frame that contains X and Y coordinates and can later be transferred to a raster data file. So we just um, basically run all of these commands. We also define the projection here, which is uh, UTM 36 on the Southern hemisphere. And then <clears throat> what is very important here is the out file, which is, the, um, which is transferring the data frame to uh, a raster file format, which makes it possible for us to plot it and makes it also possible to, for example, use uh, QGIS to visualize the final result. Um, so what we can do now is use the simple um, plot command. And with this plot command, we can um, visualize our uh, Woody cover estimation. Yeah, this is the final Woody cover map. Uh, you can see here uh, we have uh, percentages in our subsites from uh, basically 0% to 70%. Um, the highest values uh, in the Kruger National Park generally or most generally uh, occur along um, valleys or along rivers so where we have you know, more moisture compared to to sites where it is open for example 
um, and this will definitely differ throughout the Kruger National Park as we have quite a quite a high number of different ecosystems there and um, different characteristics in terms of soils in terms of um, the vegetation cover we have but this is just one example how to how to um, um, plot the woody cover here as a last command of this script we can export the raster data set so you can use it um, in other software or other uh, languages that you prefer uh, this is done here using uh, the TIFF file format, so it is readable by any common uh, GIS and remote sensing software. And with this last command, we have now successfully uh, finished this tutorial. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this course. We hope you uh, have learned more about woody cover estimation, why it matters and why it is problematic in a savanna environment. And we hope you can use this knowledge for your own research or for your own fields of interest. See you soon on your college.